Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, today I'm gonna teach you how to play Lost Ark in Korea if you're from anywhere else outside of the Korean region. At the moment of this video Lost Ark is only available for Koreans in Korea, so if you're from Europe and North America um, you have to go through a couple of things to bypass that. You need three things to do it, you need a Lost Ark Korean account, you need exit lag and you need the game. I'm gonna teach you all three of them during this video. First of all, the account. You go to this Korean, you go to this doji website, New Gameway, or any other website that is a website that sells gold and sells accounts, and you purchase one. 99% of the people that do play Lost Ark in Korea have purchased their account either from this website or any other websites. Yeah, can you trust them? Are they 100% legit? I don't know, I bought my account from this website and I'm gonna recommend it to you because I've never had any problems with my account so far. Now, obviously buying an account is your first thing that you do against the terms of usage for any game, but um, this is the way to do it if you don't have a Korean friend create an account for you by using his own phone number or social security number so obviously if you're watching this video you don't that's why you're gonna buy an account an account for lost ark here i don't know costs up uh, uh, let, let, let's just uh, run a search here so we can see how much it costs game accounts there we go lost ark game accounts anywhere from 18 28 15 dollars yeah if you buy this one with 28 dollars when i bought my account last year it wasn't the most expensive wasn't 28 dollars it was 45 and that's what i went for because included in that 45 dollars that i paid back then was also the re-verification process i'm gonna talk about the re-verification process at the end of the video but these are your three choices for lost ark accounts if i would be to recommend you one i would say go for the $28 one if you're serious about trying this game and if you don't want to have a lot of problems that's what i would do you can buy also the 18 one and be happy with it yeah while you're waiting for your korean credentials to be emailed to you go ahead and get exit lag in the description below there is another link for exit lag that is my own personal link and if you click that not only you get discount you also help me obviously in that sense so you click the link in the description, you go to exit lag and you can even try the three days free trial that they have here. It gives you the, they give you the software for free for three days. And then after that, if you like it, you can choose to subscribe to them. I have subscribed to exit lag for a year. That's how good this tool is. That's how perfect the service that they offer is, especially for playing games in Korea and especially for exit for Lost Ark. I'm going to show you everything is absolutely super easy to do if you want to do it. Exit Lag is a VPN and a ping reducer uh, tool, two in one, and you need both of them if you play games in Korea. You don't want to play with 400 ping and you don't want, well, you cannot literally play Lost Ark if you don't have a good VPN hiding your ass. I'm gonna show you a bit later why. Now, the third thing you need to, to get is the game. So while you have got an exit lag and while you're waiting for your credentials, maybe it takes a couple of hours for you, then you're gonna go to their website. Everything is linked in the description below. You're gonna click this, but this is the main actual website, right? And if you, if you click this button right here, it brings you to the Lost Ark specific website. If you use Google Chrome, it translates um, almost everything for you. You go here to download, you go here to client, and here is the place where you're gonna be downloading your client for Lost Ark. Below, there is the uh, recommended PC specifications that you can uh, that you can actually read upon to so see if your PC qualifies. And if you click this download button, you see here, actually you don't cause my cam is there. Um, you see here at the bottom, obviously of Chrome that you have a download pending, yeah? Cool. Let's see what has been downloaded for us. It is this stove setup. This is their launcher, not the actual game, uh, version 0 0.3. If you launch this stove uh, uh, setup, you're going to install their stove client, which is mandatory in order for running the game. Now, I'm not going to go through every step of installing the stove client. Obviously, everything is in Korean, unfortunately. Um, there are programs that translate even things that are untranslatable by Google Translate. So if you want, you can use those. I didn't because it's so simple. It's just like installing any other software. It's just like installing Skype on my PC. It's just next, next, next. Yes, click. I agree to the terms. Next, next. I select the folder where I want to put it and that's it. You have the stove client. After you have the stove client, it's right here on my desktop installed. You're going to launch it. Again, you don't need to log in with your credentials so far, so you can still be waiting for them. This is how the stove client looks guys and you're wondering 
where the fuck is Lost Ark, right? And you're seeing it here. This is not Lost Ark. This is just gonna take me to the Lost Ark website. Why don't I have Lost Ark here and only I have Soul Worker in this whole client? It is very simple. We're gonna exit the client and we're gonna start exit lag because that is the reason why I don't have any games there because all of those games that these people have from stove that are publishing uh, most of them except soul worker are available if you are from korea so stove needs to be always launched after you launched exit lag it is very very important for you to do that exit lag is going to do um, its uh, check at the beginning of every launch now let's start the stove client once more since we have exit lag open as you can see here in exit lag i have the stove and the lost ark configured for you know me to be in korea and now all of a sudden i don't have only soul worker i have crossfire tails runner and i have lost ark right here now after you've installed this stove client from what you've downloaded from the website your stove client uh, if you click on the lost ark version and you have already exit lag and configured it for uh, lost ark then your uh, lost ark is going to be here with a yellow button a yellow button also pops up every time there's an update in the game and there are some files needed to be downloaded right but there is a yellow button here and there are some configurations here of course the stove client is again in uh, in uh, korean but it's absolutely no problem you're gonna press the yellow button and the game is gonna be installed automatically in the same folder as you've placed the stove client if that's what you wish for here in the stove client there's not a lot of things that you need to know this is the repair button don't ever press it these are some options related to lost ark there is no need for you to ever press this button either if you want to configure things to the stove client this right here this wheel is what you've been needing to press and you can use your phone to translate all of these right that's what i did i just took pictures and i just translated these options right here next to it here is the um, login section this is where you're going to be entering your email and password that you get yeah and this is remember me i have it ticked and then you log in and you're just going to be able to play simple as that a very easy game to install after you click this orange button the game is just going to install itself obviously make sure you're running the thing through exit lag never start the stove client and do things with these buttons without exit lag being fully connected and working properly because you have a chance to get banned obviously as you are doing something that's not allowed by the korean developers and publishers right make sure to start the game once without um without the english patch there is an english patch i'm going to talk about it a little bit later and in terms of configuring um exit exit lag yeah as you see right now stove is working through exit lag exit lag shows it to me here it's very easy to configure lost arc you need to configure stove and you need to configure the actual game so we're gonna exit the stove client so i won't have any problems not that i will have problems because i'm not logged in anyway in stove as you saw but yeah just saying to be safe yeah if you want to configure um, Lost Ark, then you're going to go here to the game section and you're going to scroll down. Actually, Lost Ark is not that down. Where is Lost Ark? It should be in L. L. Oh, Lost Ark right here. If I add this game to my configuration settings in, in Exit Lag, it's going to ask me a couple of things. You can leave this as it is. You can leave this as it is. In terms of servers, you can choose whatever server gives you the, f the um, smallest ping that is very important i play on this seul 06 that they have here set up for me personally it gives the lowest ping and there's no need to tick any of these i just apply roots and that's about it after i apply roots i've already have it configured but after i click apply roots after you click apply roots for you it's going to do a very simple configuration and that's about it you're always going to have it here in terms of the stove uh, client let's see if we can uh find it here as well where is it launcher and it's stove client right here same exact thing nothing special for the stove client i selected uh, kr download and i highly recommend that you select kr download as well for it because then i never had any problems whatsoever with my account never needed to re-verify it or never got banned up until this video of course things might change after this but anyway just saying kr download don't take anything apply roots and it's all gonna be here if you ever wanna i don't know disable exit lag for your games you're just gonna click these red buttons right here 
and then it's disabled. If you click it again and apply roots, it's going to be enabled again. Super easy tool to set up. And the difference in between having exit lag and not having exit lag for Lost Ark, in terms of ping, you go from 150, 200 with exit lag to 3, 400 without exit lag at all using in terms of ping. And in terms of uh, VPN, exit lag hides your ass perfectly well without flaws it is really one of the easiest korean games that i've had that i've had to install and go through uh, it's not a nightmare at all it's very straightforward you go buy your account you open exit lag you click uh, this stove and lost ark client you go here you click lost ark you click the button it's already installed and that's it you can play don't forget to log in here and that, that's about it so uh, it, it's not a big deal at all it's super straightforward some people have been over complicating the, the situation by using torrents to download the game files from the torrent because it's faster for them i tried for me it was the same exact speed here in lost ark while downloading and installing as it was in the torrent so i see no point in doing that you just get it officially legitimately from here and that's about it let me tell you a little bit about the english patch there is an english patch for this game you can uh, take it from the link in the description of this video obviously the english patch for this particular mmorpg is not really made so uh you, you know like out there in your face it's kind of legit but it's not it, it's a little bit dodgy because it requires you to run an executable file for it this is the folder that i have the english patch in you can place the english patch after you get it you can unzip it into any folder you want it doesn't have to be inside the game or in a specific folder you can have it on a fucking desktop right here and just click it every time you want to launch lost ark after the game is installed and after you got your credentials and after you launch it once in korean um every time you want to launch lost ark you open exit lag you open the stove client you log in and then you don't press this button blue here to play right you go to the english patch and you press this thing right here this is how the english patch looks um it is um executable made by our brothers and sisters from russia uh you know russians always up to good stuff helpful helpful stuff for uh, for the community so you click human plus machine english and then you're gonna have the start the game button available this should be always ticked please donate to them if you like lost ark and if you're if you're gonna use their patch at least one euro one dollar they've done a great job for everyone that enjoys lost ark and wants to test it before it comes out in the west a great job yeah and you also have it here in russian as well i guess right but if you want it in english this button and not this one i will show you also what happens you press human plus machine english and then it's going to um check if the game files are the same with the launcher files and then the start the game button is going to be available it's going to pop you up the game do not press start the game if you're not logged in because what this uh, exe does to you it forces it force launches lost ark the game and if you do that you're going to get to the server selection screen when you're when you're going to get a message please restart the game because you know you're not logged in and that might be a little bit suspicious do not ever do anything without exit lag being on and don't really do anything without your account being logged in here except download the game right cool uh when you close this it restores automatically the original korean game file that you have for the game so it can be uh, less suspicious as few suspicious as possible yeah that's about it guys for this for this video that's all i wanted to to tell you uh, a few things at the end that people are afraid of a few things at the end that i was mentioning in terms of 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 uh, where is it here this thing right people are very afraid people that play lost ark in korea are very afraid that oh my god my account is gonna get banned oh my god that big streamer got banned oh my god etc etc it used to happen at the beginning of this game that people did get banned why did that happen was because these people from new gameway or whatever dodgy website you're gonna use are chinese now these people also make their own accounts and bought for gold so obviously when you know the korean devs and the publishers see that you yourself have an account that's connected or that has been made from an ip similar to another thousand bots that are in the game you're gonna get banned it's not you as a person it's you as an account because your account has been made with the same phone number or with the same social security number as another thousand accounts 
that are bots. So obviously you're gonna get banned and uh, that is the reason why there were waves of re-verification required. Basically what the publishers and devs from Lost Ark did was uh, ask people to, to verify their accounts, that they are the legitimate owners. So what happened was European players and NA players kind of lost their accounts because they couldn't re-verify in any way through that old phone number that was used to create the account in the first place because they didn't create it themselves, they just bought it. So this is what why this option is here. In case you get hit by uh, re this one of these re-verification waves, which I highly doubt you will if you play it safe and you do everything right, you're gonna have to pay three dollars to these people to re-verify your account and reactivate it basically yeah uh, nothing special i personally have uh, never had to do this i had friends who had to do this once and i had friends who had to do this three times and i've had friends who actually lost their account completely because of something that happened however i don't think that um, lost ark devs and publishers are um, targeting humans europeans and north americans that they don't want them to be there i think it's all about how these people create their, their accounts and how these people uh, uh, act with other accounts that they have made or other accounts that work from their same IP. That's what I think happens and um, you shouldn't really be worried as nor am I. And that's about it guys really. There's also a Discord server in which you can come and join and start asking questions whenever there's a maintenance for the, for the stove client. Oh my god, why is the patch not working, the English patch? Well, that needs also to be updated but you can come on that discord and start asking these questions all of the people there love these questions and to to answer them to you um it's a very simple game to to install it's an amazing mmorpg to enjoy it is a fantastic i will say it again i'm gonna look in your eyes and i'm gonna say it again playing lost ark in korea before it's out for us in the west is what is something that you will never regret in case you fall in love with lost ark and want to play it later because you're gonna make so many mistakes that you will not want to make in the western release that it's absolutely a blessing to play this game for a few months in korea so i highly suggest you do it the ping is very reasonable with exit lag it is very playable except when you get to that high top best player in the game kind of stage then it is unbearable and crazy but when you're gonna be playing for your first six months you're not gonna feel it and uh yeah it's absolutely for free in terms of the game you do have to pay for exit like three euros a month or something like that but it is absolutely worth it if you enjoy this game and if you like how it looks and so on and so forth that's it from me guys i wish you lots of love let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this or anything else i didn't have any problems installed it fully played it after i logged in and that's about it lots of love guys see you in my next video thank you for watching